In this video, we're going to learn how to count the number of unique elements in an array using C. The first thing we'll do is declare and initialize a test array. So here we'll have int a is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 3, 4, 1, 8, 9, 7, 8. So in this array here, the elements 2, 5, 6, 9, and 7 are unique. But elements like 8 here are not unique because they have a duplicate in the array. We'll create a function to count the number of unique elements in the array. The function will look like this. We'll have int count unique, int a, and int length. So the function is called count unique, and the function is going to accept the array as an argument, as well as the length of the array. The function is going to return an int value, and that's going to be the number of unique elements in this array. We'll also include the library stdbool.h. So we can use a bool type variable as part of our solution, as well as the values true and false. So we'll copy this, and then we'll provide our definition of the function down here. We'll solve this problem by initializing a count variable to keep track of the number of unique elements to zero. Then we'll check each element in the array one at a time to see if it's unique by comparing it to all the other elements in the array to see if we can find a match. If we don't find a match, then we know it's a unique element and we can increase the count. So the first thing we'll do is declare and initialize an int variable called count to zero. Then we'll create a loop to go through this array one element at a time. So we'll have here a for loop with a counter variable i that we're going to initialize to zero. We'll increment i by one with each loop iteration and we'll stop the loop when i is no longer less than the length of the array. So i is going to go from zero by one up until the length of the array. This will allow us to look at each element in the array using the counter variable i. Now what we'll do is check every other element in the array to see if it's a match with the element at the index i. If no match is found, then we know we've found a unique element and we're going to increment count. So here, we'll declare a bool variable called match underscore found and we'll initialize it to false. This variable is going to be used to keep track of whether or not we found a match when looking at all the other elements in the array. Next, we'll create another for loop with another counter variable to look at all the other elements in the array. So we'll have here for int j is equal to zero, j is less than length, and then j plus plus. So the same as our counter variable i, j is going to go from zero up until the length of the array so we can look at each element in the array. And what we're going to do is compare the element at the index i to the element at the index j to see if there's a match. So we'll have here, if the element in the array at the index i is equal to the element in the array at the index j, then we found a match. And we're going to set match found to true. Now there is one very important case. If i and j are the same, in other words, if we're looking at the same element in the array, we don't want to consider this a match. So we'll add something to our if condition. We'll have here and i doesn't equal j. So only if the indexes i and j are being used to look at different elements are we going to consider this a match. Otherwise, we'd be saying that the element is a match with itself. So once this loop has done its work, if there's a match in the array, we'll have found it. Now we only want to increase the count if there's not a match found in the array. So we'll have here, if not match found, then we're going to increase the count by one. Finally, the last thing to do is to return the count. So again, the way this function works is that this outer loop here is going to use its counter variable i to look at each element in the array. And we're going to see if that element is unique or not. This inner loop here is going to be used to determine whether or not that element 
is unique. So if the counter variable i of the outer loop is set to index 3, we're looking at this element right here. The inner loop is then going to check every other element in the array. And if we find a match, we're going to set match found to true. In that case, we'll get not true is false, and we're not going to increment the count. And that's what we want, because we haven't found a unique element if we found a match. Now, if we go through the entire array and we don't find a match, match found is going to remain set to false. And in that case, not false is going to be true, and we are going to increment the count, which is what we want, because in that case, the array element is unique if we didn't find a match. So let's test this function out now. Up here, we'll have int total unique is equal to count unique when it's past a our test array and 13, the length of our test array. So we'll store the return value from the function into the variable total unique. Then we'll output that return value. So I'll have here printf total unique elements colon percent d backslash n and then we'll output total unique. So if we save, compile, and run the program, we do get total unique elements is five, which is correct, because as we said, in this array here, we have two, five, six, nine, and seven, which are unique, and that's five elements total. So this is how we can count the number of unique elements in an array using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.